Welcome back. We've had a number of requests for the new Wally 5.0 wallet from Distill Union. Now, over the years, they've mastered the use of magnets. Whoa. I know magnets, we've talked about that often, but they really have in all, in all that they do. So I have the Distill Union's modular Ferris Mod wallet as well to look at. So let's get into it. Thread and ring. Open this up. Let's get into the wallet itself. Now, here we go. Wally 5.0. This is the navy color. I like this and how it looks. Take a look at this sewing like we always do. Reinforcement up in here, which when we talk about the magnets, we'll understand a little more why. Mm. Nice looking. That is a uniquely designed and custom money clip. Slots in here. And of course, yes. But wait, there's more. Oh yeah, wait, there's more. And wait, there's more. Oh yeah. Now to the feature review of the Distill Union Wally 5.0 wallet. If we look at the exterior of this wallet, there are no distinct features, but we do have a hint of what is on either side with these pull straps. So if we go to the ends, we have these exterior card slots right here. Both sides have a card slot that uh, we can utilize and they close with magnets. We'll talk about how all that fits with the cards. It's quite nice and the pull straps are used to extract the cards. If we go to the interior, we can see we have two additional card slots on both sides. That is really good for about one card on each, whereas these top down are good for up to six cards each. Then we have, finally, this wonderful looking stainless steel laser cut money clip. It's just, we'll, man, we'll play with this a little bit more and get into what we think of it. But I, if, as I study money clips more and more with wallets, I really appreciate those that are styled uniquely and are really built for the application of the wallet, like we see with the Farrah wallet or the Mitchell wallet. Wonderful ap application. And that's a quick review of the features of the Distill Union Wally 5.0 wallet. Now there is something near and dear to my heart about the name Wally. That's been my lifelong nickname. Yeah, I know, it's okay. Now into the card and cash insertion tab. Now let's take a look at the Ferris Mod Wallet. That is the Ferris Wally 5.0 Mod Wallet. Let, let me grab that. So we have this wallet here. This is the one we've been looking at. Let me grab the Mod Wallet itself right here. And this isn't the first generation. We'll look at that too. Right here. Here we go. So as you can see, we've got the card slots here from the top right there on both sides. Magnet closure. We've got the two card slots here. And uh, what's unique is, look at that, it's modular. Well, what does that mean? Well, the modularity comes down to several things. Let's say that we like that cool money clip and we wanna add it. Well, you can get that as an add-on here. Here is the cool money clip and you just, whoops, got this. It stacks on each other, so you go, whoop, sorry. Just like that. And you can have that, close it up, there you go. Uh, and now it matches exactly what we have with the other wallet. The difference here is it's longer. It is a wee bit longer than the 5.0. However, the modularity is what's a, a kind of attractive here. So what else can you put on this? Well, there's a couple other things that I bought. We have the card sleeves. I mean, let's say that you want to add even more cards. Well, you don't have that option in this wallet, but here, right here, you can put cards in here. I got quick access thumb pushes and you say, I'm gonna carry a lot of cards because maybe I'm traveling. And you say, I wanna put that underneath my money clip. Well, there you go. And then you add these on top. Woohoo! and there you go. It's all there and available to you. That is really attractive. How does this work when it comes to the strength of the magnets? Is there any concern there? Well, of course, there's always concern, but this is very strong, strong enough. You don't want it to be like you're trying to rip this thing apart to get to the pieces and the modular components. Uh, but it's strong enough that it's just not going to easily pull apart. You can have access to cash, you know, peel this back. Boy, this key is uh, getting in the way. Well, I'll just take that off 
and put that back on. And now I'm back to, well, I'm not traveling anymore, so let me take off the extra cards, and now I'm just back to my day to daily carry. Really attractive. It is a little longer, like I mentioned, so if that uh, bothers you, then it might not be a wallet for you. Now, how about the original? Well, I bought the original Mod Wallet uh, when they were releasing the Ferris system. You can see it right here. It is 1.0. There are no features of, let's say, the Wally system here. Now, you may have noticed that the currencies had a check mark of green across all of them, but the larger currencies like the Euro and those Yen didn't fit. Well, they have a bigger brother called the Wally Euro. And in the Wally line, they have other products called the Agent, as well as the Micro and the Sleeve. And they're part of a larger version that fit the needs of what they, through the research, believe that you are looking for. Now, the magnets are part of the company's mag lock design that keep the card slots in place and the bifold closed when it's not being in use. Now, Distill Union have been using magnets for their wallets for years, and they really have figured out how to not affect how to not affect your cards. Although, of course, magnets will always affect mechanical watches. That's just kind of a given there, so you need to be careful regardless of it. But they have really mastered how to do it here. It's priced for $60. And from a usability perspective and kind of perspective of the company itself, is Distill Union is all about the finesse of usability. From the outside, you'll notice from the outside that even the pull strap heads have magnets. Click, click, and that's just to keep this thin so they're not flopping around all the time and getting in the way. You'll also notice the color differences. You have red and you have blue. That's so if you want to organize your cards, your more actively used cards over in this slot, and you can put archive cards over here. You're not wondering which side always to pull your cards. You know it's this one. Now, accessing the cards from the top give you a couple methods. You can always pinch it and be able to grab the cards that you want there. Of course, the other method is why you have a pull strap. You can pull that up. And of course, when you're done, well, okay, before you get there, you can easily fan the cards out from here, grab the card you want, use it, come put it in. And once you put it back in, it all is, of course, resets the strap. If we look at magnets again, and we're always talking about magnets, magnets on this, of course, it uh, it solves a few things. Security is the biggest one here. The bifold closes, so it makes sure that your cash doesn't fall out. We have the top here that you pinch and get into. Your cards are below the magnets, so they seal. And when they seal, your cards are not gonna accidentally come out of here no matter what. Now, let's talk about this money clip here. Mentioned that it is a custom made stainless steel laser cut and what i like about it is the smooth nature of its function it's easy to put cash in and it's easy to pull cash out but it isn't easy for it to just fall out and that's because the tension here you see this groove that goes down and that's what locks it into place now it measures 4.4 by 3 by 0.3 and it weighs 61 grams so now let's get into the final score quality of four price of three Features of four, usability of five. This is incredibly easy to use. And perception of four. That gives us a great score of 41 out of 50. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you weathering the entire review with us. It was cool to see the modularity of their other system and how wonderful this particular wallet is. I like this already and we'll probably take it on a carry test. Hope to see you in the next review. Bye.